What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Themes and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create an RSS feed or how to display an RSS feed using Elementor Website Builder WordPress plugin in its free version. So recently the, I did made a video explaining how to display an any RSS feed into our WordPress using the Gutenberg editor, okay? So, in today's video, we're gonna learn how to do this using Elementor website editor, okay? Some people asked me to do this on Elementor because they could not find the RSS e widget on the Elementor. So, before anything, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for this video tutorial where I do explain more about RSS feeds, okay? I recommend you review this video and right before watching this one, okay? And please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, share this video with some friends of yours because we bring daily videos, so every day we are here doing more and more tutorials for WordPress user, marketing, SEO, sales and many more things, okay? Here is on the WordPress dashboard, into the back end, the dashboard home, one example of a good RSS feed. This is the Visual Moto blog RSS feed that appears to any Visual Moto WordPress theme user, okay? And how to create something like this on your site front end? First of all, you must have your RSS feed URL. If in the case that you are using WordPress, for example, all you need to do, because WordPress already have a building feed option, because it was made for a blog, right? So the RSS feed that you're gonna have by default, it's the one for your blog. And it's your domain, your extension, so visualmoto.com, one example, slash feed, okay? So we have our news blog, the latest posts, feed. If you go to a podcast, for example, the Visual Moto podcast, you can see the RSS feed right here, okay? You can copy the RSS feed. And if you enter to the code, here is what you see, an RSS feed from the podcast. This is very good in the case that you want to aggregate information from other blogs and keep the readers engaged on your page, okay? In the case that you have some updated news, for example, a news blog website, for example. So, how to do this using Elementor? First of all, we're gonna move to Pages. You can go to a previously made page or add new. I'm gonna access my pages right here into the front end. So, I'm gonna move to my home page. And I'm gonna click into the top, Edit with Elementor, okay? We're gonna be loading the Elementor website editor. Here it's working, okay? I'm gonna be adding the RSS feed in the end of this page, so right here. But this is where people feel a bit lost because when any type RSS we cannot find any widget. And what is the problem? Fact is that the, that the Elementor does not show the native WordPress widget. So just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down into the left side of widgets, this bar of sides, okay? And next to the boardless, WooCommerce and site widgets we have the WordPress tab. Click on it, scroll a little bit more, and you're gonna be able to find the RSS WordPress native widget. Just click on it, hold, drag, and drop on your page. We're gonna be loading the RSS feed. First of all, we need to enter with the URL right here. So here is my URL. We can change the, we can give a custom title in the case that we want. The normal default it's set to show the latest 10 options. So the latest 10 podcast episodes in this case, 
Once this podcast have only three episodes, it only gonna show three. However, if I enter with the visual model, blood RSS feed, we can see the latest 10 posts from our blog. This is how easy it is. We can change the amount of posts, for example, change it for five. We can display icon, we can display the eating content, okay? So here is what is happening, okay? As you can review, this RSS feed has have a little bit more options and easier to use than the Gutenberg one, but it's exactly the same widget, okay? We can display outer if available, and we can display the date. So here is the visual model, blog posts, RSS feeds. Of course, we can change the columns. We can apply this in another layout. This is just one example, so you can learn from it. No need to worry in the case that you want to change. Remember that all the sites built in WordPress have RSS feeds, and if yours does not have one, no need to worry, okay? Leave a comment into the section below, and I, we can help you to find your RSS feed or create a new one, because there are some awesome plugins. In the case that you are in need of some help, just go to, word, to the visualmoto.com, open a support ticket on our account, we're gonna be happy and talk to you, okay? And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you are in need of an amazing free WordPress theme, awesome WordPress add-ons, plugin for your Elementor WordPress page builder, please go to WordPress.org, download the Enzo WordPress theme, and install the Borderless WordPress plugin. Both are, are for free, completely for free, on WordPress.org, and works perfectly with Elementor. I'm gonna leave some links into the first comment of this video for sites that are, can be very useful source of information and tools for you. For example, a link where you can purchase a new domain name for 99 cents. A link when you, where you can upgrade your hosting plan for a better one or a cheaper one. A link for a place where you can download design assets for free and they update the design assets every single week so you can download more and more and more for free. So Photoshop templates, icons, graphics, images, fonts, everything related to design. So please review the link below so we can get more content for you. And follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as at VisualMuro. And subscribe to this channel because we're gonna bring a new video explaining how to apply an RSS feed for your YouTube channel, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below. Access visualmoto.com blog in the case that we need some more help and news. And I see you later. All the best.